Okay, welcome to this short screencast. This is going to show you how to work through Coulomb's Law. Uh, Coulomb's Law tells us that there is a force that exists between any charged particles uh, or between any objects that have a net charge. And that force depends upon Q1, the charge of one object, multiplied by the charge of the second object, divided by the distance between them squared. And then we multiply the whole thing by some constant called the Coulomb constant. Now we put absolute value signs here because we're not going to put in positives or negative charges or negatives for the uh, charges. We're going to figure out if it is attractive or repulsive based entirely upon uh, the situation. So again, we don't put negatives in if it's a negative charge. So let's go on to our first sample problem. We have two charged particles half a meter apart. One is 0 0.02 coulombs. The other object is 0 0.05 coulombs. What is the force between them? Uh, note that this is a huge amount of charge. So this is going to... So we have to write down VFW. Uh, or at least that's what I want to see on your sheets when you show this to me to get uh, credit back on your quiz. The distance between them is half a meter. We have the two charges. We have the Coulomb constant. Uh, I'm still going to enter it in as 8.99 in my calculator. There's a formula. Let's do the work. I'm going to do the work right on the calculator. Well, I'm going to try to do the work right on the calculator. Here we go. So we have 8.99 times 10 to the 9. That's our Coulomb constant. Times the first charge multiplied by the second charge. Divided by the distance, 0.5. Divided by the distance between them. Notice I'm putting this all in in one shot in the calculator. I'm not going to divide it up into pieces. Uh, it's just multiplication and division. So here we get that huge number that I was talking about. Does that make sense? Yeah. We expect a very large number. Alright, let's do another one. We have two uranium atoms that are completely stripped of their electrons. So we have 92 protons. So 92 protons attracted by 92 more protons and the distance is 0 0.002 meters apart. Here's our VFW. Uh, I'm going to multiply 92 protons by the elementary charge number. Here's my Q2, 92 times that. There's K and the distance, 2 times 10 to the negative 3. Let's put this into our calculator. So we have 899 times 10 to the 9th, multiplied by 92 times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 16, multiplied by 92 times the elementary particle, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19, and we're dividing that by 2 times 10 to the negative 3. Is it a mess? Is it a lot to enter into your calculator? Yes, but I'm going to make fewer mistakes if I do it all in one shot. So there's my Coulomb constant, charge 1, charge 2, divided by the distance between them squared. Don't forget to square that distance. That 2 times 10 to the negative 3 must be squared. Do we get for an answer? A very small number, which I would expect because 92 protons does not provide a whole lot of charge. And that's it. So be ready to do this tomorrow. We're going to continue with Coulomb's Law. Thanks for listening.